I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was not gonna make a video about this, but I wanted to make a video about this because I just want to show y'all how we as the church, as the body of Christ, need to do better. Okay, we need to do better. Now, we have a pastor here by the name of Michael Todd. I'm pretty sure a lot of you people done heard of him. He's a big pastor, got a mega church. Uh, he does some, he done a lot of crazy things, okay? But one thing about Michael Todd is that this is the pastor that I was watching when I first got saved. When I was a new believer in Christ, I was striving for God. This is the man I would go to and I would watch his sermons. Like, I'm talking about binge watch him, okay? It was entertaining. He gave the word. I just enjoyed his service. I just enjoyed his service, but it got to a point where I needed the meat of the word and not the baby milk of the word anymore. I want to grow deeper in God. You know what I'm saying? So this man done poured syrup and whipped cream on the Holy Bible doing a service. We go watch this. Uh, make sure I hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Uh, I'll just say pray for Michael Todd. Okay. Pray for Michael Todd. I give all my thoughts at the end of the video. Without further ado, Let's get into this nonsense, man. Back up here because this is the house of God. So, so this is a temple, okay? I'm move this out the way because we don't need these clothes no more. I need everybody to see this. Yeah. If this is the temple, the house of God, I'm just going to start acting how we be acting with our bodies in the house. My favorite is Chinese food and ketchup. <sighs> Why are you so bothered? Who gonna clean it? Yeah, this is just the house of God. It's just a house. It's just a house. Just a house. Who cares? <laughs> I lift my hands in the sanctuary. I lift my hands to give you the glory. I lift my hands to give praise and we will praise you. Don't care so much. It's just a temple. Syrup all over the communion. Don't care so much. Over the Bible, too. Y'all, stop acting like you care about this. Let me, man. Stop acting like this matters to you. On the picture, I need to do some artwork on the picture. See? Uh oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. Ah. All right, so that's the clip I wanted to show y'all, okay? Um, that junk, first of all, let me say this. <sighs> let me say this. I, I'm not here to condemn this man at all. I don't want Michael Todd to feel less than himself. I, I don't want any of that. Because at the end of the day, I have to give respect to the man because when I was following God, when I was following Christ in the beginning of my walk, he literally was like, I, I, I want to grow deeper into God. Like I want to go deeper into God, but I stay firm in my faith. I stay firm in believing in Christ because of this man. I was watching sermons. He would give the word. I started off with his relationship series. That's what I started off with, with his relationship series. But this right here is a problem. Okay. I understand that you want to give examples so you can, so you can bring the Bible to life. The Bible's already a living word. You know what I'm saying? We don't need too many examples like this. This right here is just too far. This is too, too far, Michael Todd. Too far, bro. Pouring whipped cream on the Holy Bible. Hold on, bro. You poured syrup on the communion. That certain things just shouldn't should not be done in church. I understand you want to entertain. You want to you want to give you want to give people. You know what I'm saying. You want to keep people up in the church. But the Bible tells us right here. I, I got a scripture right here. Second Timothy chapter four, verse three, for a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myths. Now, the reason I brought up that scripture, because right there, I say, this is the time where people are not want to hear wholesome teaching. What happened to pastors actually giving the word of God? You know what I'm saying? I understand. Like I 
said, I get the entertainment. I get you want to keep people up in the church. But at the end of the day, where's the word? Where's the word? Is this more of motivation or is this more of the word? Now, I know the service that you're talking, the service that that was, you know what I'm saying? He was talking about the body, talking about how we just, you know, we abuse our temple. We abuse our bodies. We put different foods in there. Michael Ty used to be overweight. He lost a lot of weight, took care of his body. God told him, I think God told him like, um, he will only take his ministry as far as his body could take him. Something like that. So I know the, I know the whole like little storyline of got of how it got to this point. Okay. I'm not just so naive to like, Oh, he did like, I know the storyline and I get the storyline, but at the end of the day, certain things just, you could have did something else doing that to the Holy Bible, doing that to the communion. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Why do we take things so far to entertain someone else at the end of the day? The word is, is going to be the living word. The word, let the word change people. You don't need to do so much to change somebody. Let the word change people. You know what I'm saying? When I first came to Christ, I didn't depend on the pastor. I was outside the church for a minute until I came across Michael Todd. He was my online COVID pastor. But before that, I was outside the church for a minute. But during that time that I was outside the church, I allowed the word of God to change my heart. I was being convicted by the word of God, not because someone was doing so many obstacles and all this in the church. Like, no, I was convicted because I got into the word. The word is the living word. It's the sword. It is to help me through my everyday to day life. So we need to do better as the body of Christ. We don't need to keep trying to entertain people, trying to keep people inside the church. If people want to leave, let them leave. But at the end of the day, the truth go hurts. That's why I stopped watching Michael Todd because he's more about the entertainment rather than the word. When I was watching him, I was watching him for entertainment. I wasn't watching him to get the word. But when I watch like Philip Michael Anthony or Philip Mitchell, Philip Anthony Mitchell, when I watch him, I'm watching him because I want the word. He, like I said, pastors that give the word, they're not the most entertaining people. But at the end of the day, at least I'm going to grow spiritually from listening to their sermon. After I listen to your sermon, how many people listen to Michael Todd's sermons and want to go deeper into the word? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, it, it's like it happens to it happens to majority, but 90, probably I wouldn't even say 95 because I'm not going to sit here and put a number on it, but majority of the church that 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 he has majority of the congregation probably not even really going deeper into the word they come to church on a sunday they chilling on a sunday they watching this this football show this basketball show that michael todd is performing because another one of his sermons he had a whole trampoline in the middle of the freaking aisle and he was jumping on it that's what i'm saying it's, it's all about entertainment to him it's not about let me get them the word. Let me allow, I want them to grow spiritually because at the end of the day, your blood, their blood is on your hands, Michael. They are depending on you to give them the word of God because some of them just depend on you rather than depending on the word of God itself. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people that might go to your church may not even be really reading the word themselves. They may come to church to your church because you're entertaining. You're an entertaining pastor. You know what I'm saying? 156,000 views and 6,000 likes. That, that's, how many, that's how many views and likes this video got. Because they love the entertainment aspect of things. They don't want to see, they don't want to get the meat of the word. That's the problem with this generation is that they don't want the meat. See, I want the meat of the word. I want to learn more. I don't want to just go to church on a Sunday, get the entertainment, and that's it. Like, I actually want to leave church wanting to know more about God. Like, dang, okay, pastor said this. I want to go deeper now. I want to go deeper. When I get, when I leave my church, I be want, I be writing down certain stuff, and the pastor be saying like certain verses in the Bible that I don't even know. I didn't never knew it been in there. I be having like, dang, hold on, that was in there. Oh, I gotta read that because now I want to go deeper. Now I want to read it for myself because I'm seeing something that I never seen before. You see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like I said, I'm not here to condemn Michael Todd. I'm not here to 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 call him and say, yeah, man, you suck. You are a terrible pastor. You did. Because at the end of the day, like I said, that would be such a hypocrite of me. Because, again, I used to watch Michael Todd. When I was in the beginning phases of my walk with Christ, I used to watch him. You feel me? I believe there's pastors for every season, but Michael Todd, certain things just taking too far, bro. You know what I'm saying? The reason why so many people didn't get up and leave your church is because they, they're, they're blind. They're blind. They, they so, they're there for the entertainment. Some lady, hit the picture. Get the picture. Did you not just see that the man just pour freaking syrup on the Bible? You talking about get the picture? Get the picture. Get the... What? Excuse me? Hello? He just poured syrup and then whipped cream on the Holy Bible? The Bible that you guys supposed to be reading? That Bible's supposed to be open in the church, not closed. I'm just saying, Michael. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. We have to do better. Do better as the body of Christ. We build one another up. We don't tear each other down. We got to build each other up. 
You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I will be praying for you, Michael, because again, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. This is ridiculous, bro. I will be praying for you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I want to see you lead millions of people to heaven. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you done got millions of people saved. But how many of those people that got baptized actually truly following after Christ for real? You know what I'm saying? Not saying that they're not, but how many are getting baptized and actually following after Christ? You feel me? Like, again, they're depending on you, Mike. They depending on you to, to, to feed them the word. Not feed them entertainment. If they want entertainment, they can go watch something on TV. But they're depending on you to feed them the word of God. I'm just saying, man. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about this video. Do y'all feel like this was necessary? Do y'all feel like this was unnecessary? How do y'all truly feel about this video? You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. This was crazy. This is honestly crazy, okay? Uh, yeah, man. So, I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe to on post notifications. Follow your boy on your all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, The Pen. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. <sighs>